Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm running errands because I'm getting ready for our cruise. Woo, I'm so excited. In five days, uh, we get to leave and we fly to Fairbanks and then we get to do Denali and I'm gonna take you with me, which is super exciting. But right now I'm in town and I'm running a bunch of errands and I'm sitting here having some coffee while I wait for one of the places I have to go to to open, which is making me think about all the things I get to do today. So a bunch of errands, which I'm gonna take you along just for what the heck. And then, I'm going to finish up my video about equipment. I'm really excited about this one because I get all my equipment out and I'm going to do it in like three sections. One section is what you absolutely must have in order to be a home canner. The equipment that you just absolutely have to have. Anybody can get by with just having these things. The second part is going to be things that you should have. like. You should have them. You can get by without them, but when you can get them, there's something you should have. And the third part is what you can have. Like, things that you absolutely don't need, but you can have them. And I'm excited because I actually ordered one of those uh, jam and jelly makers because I just, you know, I figured it's super simple and it'd be easy to make uh, basic jams. A lot of jams that I won't be able to make with it. But what the heck, I figured I would give that a try because I've been canning for a really long time. I have all the must-haves. I have all the should-haves. And I have a lot of the can-haves. Um, because I'm a gadget girl. I like those things. So once I get my running around done, which I have like six things to do, then I'm going to go home and finish that video. And I'll have that up later this afternoon. So I got to get my things done around town and then we'll get going. Okay, here we are at Grocery Outlet. I have to run and get some things. And I was driving by Grocery Outlet, and I figured I better go in and check out what kind of specials they have. Now, uh, we don't have Aldi's out here in where I live, but I did go to an Aldi's when we were in Connecticut, and I feel like Grocery Outlet is kind of the same thing because it has, like, super good deals, and sometimes you never know what they're going to have, but they always have great prices they have really good stuff and so let's head in and see what we can find okay i'm inside and there's super good deals in fact i'm going to show you something one time when i was at a walmart a guy tried to grab my purse out of the cart and go away so every time i use the baby strap and strap my, my purse in which is um probably crazy but i don't worry about people taking my purse but let's see like $3.99 for the onions regularly $4.99 and the produce looks really good, actually. Ooh, two for five. Those are beautiful little clamshell. Uh, oh, those are the best ones to make. These little brine tomatoes, the ones that are like grapes, are the best ones to do for dehydrated, you know, the little pizza bites that I make. So good. Thank you, hair. So good. Anyway, I'm thinking about doing some, like, wings or something for dinner in the air fryer because I feel like my oven is not cooking at the right temperature and I need to get it tested because it seems to be taking a lot longer for things to get um, cooked nowadays. But anyway, look at the produce. The produce. <gasps> Ooh, rainbow baby carrots. Nice. Okay, let's go check out some of the other areas. Okay, hold on. Mug treats chocolate cake, two for a dollar, normally $3.99. And these are those fun little things that you put in the microwave. And I'm thinking, I don't want to bake anything before we go on our cruise, but if we want a treat, I'm going to get one of those. Okay, this is the fun gadget aisle. Look at these little cute things on springs. Oh my gosh, those would be cute in the greenhouse. How much are they? That is... I don't even know. That's cute though. Metal hanger. Doesn't say. But I like the little bee. He'd be cute hanging from my... in my greenhouse. I'll see how much those are. I might come back. But cool stuff. Like look at all the vitamins. All the stuff. And then there's garden stuff over here. Look at that. The four-tier mini greenhouse for $34.99. That's kind of handy. That'd be nice up um, to grow herbs in right out the back door. Oh, look. A fairy garden kit. Um, super cute things. What is this? A solar glass jar. Oh, those are cute. Those are super cute. I don't know. Let me look. Oh, look at this. Looks like a little light bulb. Oh, no. Look got the little lights inside kind of like a fairy light those are cute all right i gotta keep looking okay you guys check this out for 5.99 so i honestly feel like i invented these things they're like the umbrellas with the clip because 40 years ago when my daughter was in a stroller i had a little umbrella and my mate i had my husband 
duct tape like a clamp onto the end of it so I could hook it to the umbrella to the umbrella stroller. Um, and so I feel like I invented those. Oh, kitchen gadgets. So good. I could just hang out in the kitchen gadget aisle. You know me, I'm a gadget girl. I like all the goodies. All right, let's see what else they got in the other aisles. What's this? Easy to mount, easy. Oh, those are handy. Little lights. Pretty cool. I'll check it out. Okay, this is the aisle that has all the mixes and the good things. Ooh, there's a brittle mix. Oh, there's an epic cookie mix. That's kind of fun. Oh, I like to bake stuff. Okay, let's see. This is the deal. This is where the good deals are. Like, check this out. The olive oil is a good deal. Some really good olive oil. They have good wines here. Nice stuff. There's some spices at pretty good prices. Spices prices. <laughs> okay, and then, let's see. Down here they have, like, all the healthy junk. Not healthy junk, but you know what I mean. But this is what I love. I'm going to show you guys. One of my favorite things that you can get here are these uh, pre-done, like this. Oh, that's so nice. Smoked with bacon. That's nice. And then it's actually not bad. But here's what I like. In fact, I might get one of these and just do it on the, um, on the uh, hot air fryer today. This one looks good. Boneless pork shoulder roast whiskey if i did one of these today then i would be able to be having that uh for the rest of the week so i'm going to go ahead and get one of these and that will be uh in the air fryer perfect and i'll be able to slice it up for sandwiches and things like that so i'm going to get that i also got some watermelon and some candle so we'll see what's up down the other aisle okay here's one of my favorite aisles the cheese is awesome oh look at that it comes with a cutting board uh, their Parmesan cheese is really, really good, by the way. Oh, look at this Swiss. God, that's nice. Anyway, I love cheese. And this is the best place for prices. I think it's good. And then here we have all of the pastas and hot dogs and bacon. More cheese. Love cheese. And then I'm going to go over to the frozen aisle here in a second just to see what they have that I might need before we leave. I do have to get some bread. I'm um, not going to bake bread because, like I said, my oven is not cooking right. It's taking forever for things to cook. So I think the element needs to be, um, or the temperature thing, probe, needs to be checked. So let me get some bread. I'm going to get a couple of these little water add-ins. That's not bad. 99 cents. I like the Arizona, and it's the Arizona lemon tea, too, which I like. So I might get an extra one of those just to throw in my water bottle. Let me get that. Um, some of the ice creams. Yummy. Ooh, what's this? Pop-Tarts, brown sugar, cinnamon. Oh, my gosh. If Brian was here, he would have to get that. Okay, guys, so here's my receipt, and I saved. What did it say I saved? So... 33.17 is what I saved. I paid 37.21. So I it was about 50% less, which is awesome. But I also got a solar flower for my car, which that is going to absolutely make Brian nuts when we drive anywhere in my car. But I got another one for my little friend and I'm going to take it and drop it off to her um, when I go pick up Snickers from the groomer because he's right by where I used to work. Anyway, so this is a pretty cool deal. Now the thing is that's cool is you can write your phone number on the back of this part of your savings, write your name and phone number, and put it in a bin, and every Tuesday they draw, and if you go check up on a whiteboard, it'll have your name, and that you get thirty-three seventeen in credit to spend right there, which is kind of nifty. So there it is, grocery outlet. I think this is kind of our version of Aldi's, and I love shopping here. All right, here's another stop on my list. It's to the Nova Health Urgent Care Clinic because they do the real quick uh, antigen tests for COVID. I went ahead and picked up all the paperwork so that we can have that ready. So first thing, Saturday morning, we can come and get our COVID test in order to start our cruise. And then after the land portion in uh, Denali, then we have to take another COVID test to actually get on the ship to come back. And then it lands in Vancouver and we have to fly back to Seattle. 
and then at the Vancouver airport we have to have another COVID test in order to come back in to the U.S. So we will have three COVID tests inside of 14 days and uh, hopefully all of them will be negative. Okay, here we go. I now have put a stop, a hold on the mail. Bought some stamps because I made all the cards for birthdays and anniversaries for the month of June. So I need to have stamps for those. And now I'm heading back into downtown area to check on Snickers and see when he's ready because I don't want to drive all the way home just to immediately receive a phone call that we can come and pick him up. So I might even stop and see if my little friend at work, I'm gonna give her her little flower and it's almost lunchtime, so maybe we can enjoy lunch together. All right, we've got Snickers picked up from the groomer, and look, he got a pretty little bandana. He likes to wear a bandana, don't you, Bob? So now we got to make one more stop, and then we'll be home. So that would be our day, a uh, fun little day, doing a lot of outings. Got the mail stopped, got some stamps purchased for the cards I need to mail. What else did I do? Went to the grocery outlet stopped at the bank. I think I've got my list taken care of. Okay guys, it looks like there's a couple more things I have to do. So this is just a quick note to, to let you know that I will finish my equipment video and do my editing, but that will probably be up tomorrow. If it's not up this afternoon, look for it tomorrow because I've got some extra things I need to take care of. And I just don't think I'm gonna have enough time to do it the right way. So I will get it done as quickly as I can. I'll try to have it up this afternoon, but if not, you'll see it tomorrow. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.